Thanks for the big welcome from Carousel. Welcome back guys to this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. As humans, it's human nature, we forget things. And all we can hope and pray for in our boating lifetime is that we don't forget the important things like maybe a drain plug. But as you know, 2023 is the year of giving and we're gonna give you an opportunity to win something to help remind you about that drain plug. And today, somebody's gonna get a free drain plug mafia tumbler. Real simple, all you have to do to be entered to win, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the like button now, and leave a comment at the end of the video and we'll pick our favorite comment and somebody's going to win a drain plug mafia tumbler just like Jim Duncan did last week. Now, while the tumbler may help remind you to go double check and make sure that drain plug's installed before you launch the boat, there are still plenty of other things as boaters we may forget to do. In fact, most of the mistakes we'll talk about today, if you're a boater, you've probably at least done one, if not done all of them. Heck, I'll almost openly admit that I've probably done all the things we'll talk about today at some point in time in my boating career. The first one we'll talk about today will be unhooking the trailer from the truck without putting the wheel chocks down. You just finished a long day of boating. The kids, the family are yelling at you, everybody's ready to go home you can easily get distracted and forget some of the little things. The second one that's pretty common, that's going to be forgetting the lines are still attached to the dock. This one happens pretty easily. If you're a captain and you have other people with you, sometimes people just have tasks. You assume somebody else has already undone the lines, but as a captain, it's your responsibility. You need to double and triple check and make sure all these things are taken care of before you try and leave the dock. Now, if leaving the dock with the lines attached is bad, the only one that could be worse than that is you leaving the boat on the dock without the lines properly secured. Once again, something that can easily happen. As a captain, you may be taking care of something else, and the next thing you know, somebody's doing the lines, and then when you come back to find the boat later, it's not where you left it. Another one that we've all probably done at some point in time is kind of forgot that the motors were running and maybe accidentally bumped the throttle. All you can do when this happens is pray for the best and hope there's not a dock in your way or somebody may be standing on the stern of the boat. Now the next one may be the most common thing I see forgotten in boating. I have no other excuse for it other than the fact that the captain somehow just forgot how to drive. I get sent videos like this almost every single day and that is the only excuse I can come up with. Now there are lots of things that can cause this. It can be excitement, maybe our crew spent a little bit too much time at the tiki bar on the dock, but we see it all the time. Another one that we quite often see out on the water is that is when somebody's out there towing a tube or something like that, but it seems like they forgot they're towing somebody because they're doing the most erratic and wild things and you just couldn't believe they would possibly do these things if they knew somebody was behind them. Now our next video clip is going to be the embodiment of forgetting things in boating. Here we're gonna analyze this for a few moments and kind of look and see what all is forgotten in these images. The first thing you may notice, our boat is drifting off the dock, which means obviously our guy has forgotten to use the lines. And as we see the boat drift away, maybe he's just forgotten in general that he even has a boat, but here in a moment you're gonna see somebody recognizes it, lets him know, he looks up, and then all of a sudden, one of my favorite things, he's gonna start tossing a line at the boat to try and fish it. But he must have forgotten that lines, they don't magically wrap themselves around a cleat. But let me know in the comments below what else you see has been forgotten in these images. No, he most certainly does not have control of the boat. And speaking of boats, that's gonna bring us to the next one that some people will forget in boating, and that's forgetting to even bring the boat. But just because you forgot to bring the boat to the ramp, that shouldn't stop you. Go ahead and pull like this crew, drive your car straight down that ramp, into the lake, and enjoy your day out on the water. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. You ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways? Be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Raya, Linda Hemingway, Roscoe, R.W. Collins, Lillian Margate, Alexandria Kiefer, Gonza Vigliano, Surf and Moose, and Andy Jack 712 did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.